we're going to go over how to use Adobe Express to create your book trailer. When you're in the Create a New Project page, you're going to click on Slideshow. Type in the title of your book. And then click Next. We are starting from scratch, so click the button that says Start from Scratch. Okay. To get started, you have some slides here at the bottom. This is slide one. Uh, you can add video, text, a photo, or an icon. I am going to add text on my first slide, so I will click here and type in what I want to say. Pigeon wants to drive the bus. Okay. When I'm done, I'll also have the option to record some narration. Uh, I can click on the microphone to do so. Pigeon wants to drive the bus. Okay. Um, because I'm screen recording right now, it, the microphone won't work, but yours will if you do that. Uh, once I'm happy with this slide, right, I can preview it by clicking here. If I like it, I can move on to the next slide by clicking this plus icon down here. This will add the next one. Now, let's say I want to add a photo this time. Maybe of a bus to match my words. Now, you have two options here. You can upload a photo from your computer or you can search for a photo within uh, the Adobe Studio. All the photos that you search for in here are free for you to use, and it will automatically give credit to them in this last slide. If you upload a photo, you need to make sure that it's okay for, to, for you to use, that you have permission to use it for free, uh, and you will have to add in your own credits here at the end. Uh, to make it easier for myself, I'm just going to look in the Adobe stock. So I'm going to type in bus and select a photo that works for me. Okay, great. I'll keep going. Add my next slide. Okay. You also have the option to choose different layouts over here for your slides. I'm going to try split screen layout this time. I'll add text again when the bus driver leaves. And over here, I'm going to do a photo to match my words. Bus driver this time. And this one. Okay, I'm waiting for it to finish uploading. You also can zoom in or out on the photo if you want to show more or less of it. Okay, so when the bus driver leaves, I'll add my next slide. Uh, maybe this time I'll try a caption. And we'll do a photo. Maybe we have the bus again. Oops. <laughs> this time driving away. Well, his dreams come true. Up to you. 
Okay. On my last slide, I'll make sure that I upload a cover of the book. So we'll go to photo, upload photo. I've already downloaded and saved a picture of the cover of the book. So it will be in my downloads for me. Pigeon. All right. So here I would want to add some narration, right? Saying, and don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Words and pictures by Mo Willems, right? Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Okay, again, you can listen to it. If you decide you don't like your recording, you can click this where it says remove narration, right? And try again. Um, this little icon down here tells you how long people will see this. This is just at two seconds right now. If that's too short for you, you can make it longer, right? So maybe five seconds would be better. To check out your whole trailer, you can click this play icon and it will show it to you. Okay, you'll click X to exit the preview, and then you can make adjustments as you need to, right? If you need to add any credits, for example, for the book cover, you can do so on this credit screen. If you decide you want to try a different theme, you can choose a different one, for example, this one, and you can choose a color that you like example maybe this one and it will change it the themes kind of change the transitions between the slides and like I said the color so let's see how it's changed okay you can look back at that preview um, for resize, we don't need to worry about that too much. That's just if you want it to play on a TV, this may be better. Square may be better for a phone. And then the music, uh, it's automatically selected this music for me, but I can change it, right? Depending on the kind of mood I want for my trailer. And you can preview it by clicking the play icon. All right, those are the basics for creating your book trailer. Have fun.